it's Christy and Michelle has been reminding me to mention if you could please like and subscribe if these YouTube videos are helpful to you. We want to get the message out and hope that you will share um, just so especially as we're approaching the time period when people are really starting to get involved and interested again in Operation Christmas Child shoebox packing. Uh, I would love it if you could help us out in that way that the message of sending quality shoe boxes would spread. So today I'm getting ready. I have quite a few things, totes, getting ready to do a packing party. I'm going to be doing a couple of packing parties in two weeks. So it's really hard for me to focus on getting everything together that I need when I'm planning for these packing parties. It takes a lot out of me and um, I just finished doing that. So I might be a little brain dead, but it's exciting to be a part of Operation Christmas Child and sending these gifts around the world so that we can reach the children with the gospel. That is our passion and we really want um, the message that Jesus Christ came as a man to be the Savior for those who receive him. And it's just such a wonderful and beautiful message that oftentimes many, many children raise their hands and receive Jesus as their Lord at the shoebox packing event. Um, so that is really our heart that um, we want as many people to hear the gospel as possible through these shoe boxes. And um, I hope that you're on board with the same thing. One thing that we are really trying to focus on with the Facebook group, Blessings in a Shoe Box, and uh, the website, blessingsinashoebox.com, and all of our extended uh, friends and the people that are supporting us, we want to send quality items in our shoe boxes. And why is that? I think it has to do with uh, the fact that the Lord loves us so much that he's given us this wonderful gift of salvation. And we want as many children as possible to hear that message and to receive the love that God is pouring out upon them at the events. And we want that shoebox to be a part of that experience so that when they open their shoebox and they see these quality items in their shoebox, they can't help but respond positively to the message of the gospel, which is always shared at these events. Um, there's just some connection. Um, my friend, Lisa, that, that just got back from Peru, she was telling me that there was one particular boy that stood out to her that didn't have very many things in his shoe box. And she really, she couldn't do anything about it. They were really observers at that time. But when she brought that story back to me, it was just heart wrenching. And I just wanted to pass on to you and to those that are packing shoe boxes, the importance of quality items in our shoe boxes. That's been a discussion on the Facebook group people will share, do you think this is good for a shoebox? Do you think this is good for a shoebox? Uh, and, and some things are a definite no. Michelle and I are pretty serious about what we think is a good thing to go in a shoebox and what isn't. And so we're able to speak our minds on the Facebook group. But I hope that this video will spark something in you that will really ignite and you'd be able to pass this on to your friends as you are packing shoe boxes that we want to send quality items so that the Holy Spirit moves in a mighty way through these boxes. Not that the Holy Spirit can't move if the items aren't very nice or sometimes they might just have one thing in them. Um, the Lord can definitely still move, but we want to just be a part of a bigger movement that really sends the quality items. So these are some of the things I'm going to show you, not very hard to come by. And especially if you're packing all year round, there are so many uh, sales throughout the year, whether it's online sales or at your uh, Walmart or whatever stores you shop at, there's always sales going on. So keep an eye on those sales and make sure that the items you send in your shoe boxes are nice quality items. So here, for example, is a pencil pouch. 
I have it full with school supplies and there's a notebook in there and a big pair of scissors. This is um, the packing party that I'm doing is for 10 to 14 boys. So these pencil pouches are a big part of it. Now when I pack them in my shoe boxes, I will take out the bulky stuff and just leave the notebook and the stickers in and then I'll pack it differently. But if you've watched my last video, you'll know how I do that. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'm going to be packing um, with friends at work in our boardroom. We are gonna get together and uh, two times in, in two weeks, we're gonna get together and pack shoe boxes. And I think it'll be 15 shoe boxes each time. It doesn't sound like a lot, but if you continue to do that through the year with your friends, it's a fun time and you feel like you've gotten a lot accomplished by the end of that packing party. So let me just um, go through, I'm gonna go through carefully what I send uh, for the packing parties for uh, the other people to, to pack. So the pouches are one thing and oh, in here I have some more pencil pouches. I have whistles like coach whistles here. I have the hidden uh, or the cross right here that Michelle made. I showed that on my last video. In fact, if you watch my last video, a lot of those things are gonna be the same in here that I'm using for the packing party. So this is the cross and this is the prayer pocket. Um, prayer, this prayer pocket was made especially for you. Keep it with you as a reminder that God's love always surrounds you. I love you and I'm praying for you. So that's uh, uh, something special and it can fit in a shoebox very easily because it doesn't take up very much room. And that's all that I have in, oh, these are the hygiene kits and the needles. So I put the needles for the soccer balls uh, in these little tiny baggies and then also the hygiene kits have the instructions on how to file your nails, you can get those on the Facebook group printables. If you're not already involved in the Facebook group, it really is a wonderful community and I encourage you to um, sign up or become a member to our Facebook group, Blessings in a Shoe Box. Okay, I have another box here. Let's see what's in this one. Okay. What I did is I took, from my last video, I wrote down everything that I included and then I recreated it times 15 for these bulk um, items. So I have 15 underwear. I have 15 uh, marble mazes. I have 15 rulers, 15 combs. 15 flying discs. I have 15 dinosaur coloring books. I have 15 washcloths and I know I have 15 bandanas. So that's all that's in this one. Let me know if you've done a packing party and give me some tips. If I if you can think of something I can improve on it would be great. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video so that I can go over and get the rest of the things. Okay, here uh, is another big bag. It has all the water bottles in it, 15 water bottles. And it has like, seven or eight basketballs and pumps. Um, and the rest of the balls are gonna be soccer balls. So I just went around the house. I moved out of totes, um, so I couldn't just put things in totes because they're already full of stuff. So I was looking for ways, uh, containers that I can put things in and easily carry them. So that's why that's in a, um, like a picnic basket. So uh, hold on again and I'll get some more containers to show you. Okay, you would not believe how heavy this is. I have the rest of the water bottles. Like I got those on Amazon in bulk. And I have these soccer balls, size four. 
have more water bottles and more soccer balls. I have all the totes and backpacks here. Those are pretty heavy. So those are really nice canvas ones that I was able to find. <laughs> I have the flashlights, the really nice pump flashlights and flying discs in here. I have all the fishing kits in here that Michelle put together for me. I just really appreciate that so much, Michelle. And oh, they have, um, these are drawstring, silky drawstring bags and inside they have sunglasses. So I have all of these sunglasses for the boys. These are gonna be 15 sunglasses. Um, oh, and I have 15 of these bouncy, high bouncy balls that are, uh, have dinosaurs in the middle of them. Oh, and I also am including, I'm bringing over some things that, that these are harmonicas, three harmonicas in a case. Um, I'm bringing over some kind of random things like that. Um, so the people that are packing can really make their uh, shoebox different than all the rest. I don't want them all to be uh, exactly the same. I want them to have a little variety in them. So I think that adding those a couple of like random things is fun to do for shoebox. And I have these plush dinosaurs also to send. I like the idea of putting them inside the soccer ball. I think that might be the end, I'm, but I'm, I might have one more box over there. Okay, so I have one more box to show you. It's just a small one, and this one has all the different matchbox cars in there. I want all the boys to have a car. There's um, also some construction vehicles in here. And then these plus plus, I was able to find those for a good deal. And then here's a deck of cards. Just again, doing some random things in here besides all the same so that they can uh, have each individual two box will be different. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. I really uh, hope and pray that all of us are packing with a passion to, to make sure that the children who receive our boxes have the very best. Um, that they would feel loved when they open their shoe boxes and that the quality would be important when we're choosing items to put in our shoe boxes. Um, and also variety. We want um, colorful and fun and new items, not used items, uh, to be a part of the gospel presentation. When the ch children open their shoe boxes, they will feel God's love and want to receive him as savior. That's our purpose and that's our goal and I pray that you will encourage us in that journey and we want to encourage you in the journey too. Thank you for watching, God bless you and bye for now.